Hey, how's it going? This is a Stevens 301 in 12 gauge. It is a break action single shot shotgun. It's got 26 inch barrel, a little less than 14 inch length of pull and 41 inches overall length. Um, this particular one, to open it, you just break it open and by its very nature is a takedown model. On the end, we have a simple bead sight and we actually have wind style removable chokes on the end. So you can actually change our chokes if you want. This one comes with a modified choke, and that is what I will keep in it for now. And it's quite easy to assemble and disassemble as well. Alright, now, online I've noticed there are quite a few reviews of this shotgun, but in 410, ga 410 and 20 gauge, I hardly see any in 12 gauge. Uh, and probably the main reason is, I'll show you, I see very few reviews and I see even fewer that are actually shot, so I'll show you why. really uncomfortable to shoot. It has ejectors too, that's nice. But I find this actually quite uncomfortable and painful to shoot. So today I'm out here and I'm going to try some mini shells, which will hopefully make this thing a little more comfortable to shoot. So these are the one and three quarter inch length and they're only uh, seven and an eighth ounce, uh, uh, seven and a half, number seven and a half bird shot. So let's see how these feel. I'm really curious. wasn't bad at all that was actually quite pleasant I'm gonna shoot some here that was that I got my target set down there at 20 yards and I'm gonna shoot here at 5 10 and 15 we'll see what kind of pattern we get as well quite comfortable to shoot. All right, come back to the 30 yard mark and I'm gonna shoot some mini slugs this time. Now, sorry, the, uh, the buck bird shot that I was shooting was these Aguilas and I misspoke. They are actually only five and an eighth ounce. So they're actually really little. And the full size load, I was just shooting some challenger target loads. These are uh, one and one eighth ounces, seven and a half bird shot. For my slugs, I will shoot one round off of these score competition slugs. They're one ounce slugs going at 1300 feet per second. And for our mini shells, I'm going to shoot one of these federal shorty shells. These ones are also one ounce, but they're going 1200. So we'll see if we can really notice 100 feet per second less. And I'm going to shoot my two targets down there again. And when we're all done, we'll go down and we'll check out the spread of the bird shot earlier. So I'll shoot the full size slug first. These are actually really uncomfortable. Okay. And hopefully this is a little more comfortable. The mini shot. bit but you can still feel it. Let's go check the target. So here's our mini shell at uh, five yards. Ten yards. Fifteen yards. About the size of the paper there. This was the shot shell from the full size, and it's just about the whole size of the paper there. This is the uh, full size slug, by the way. So it does shoot low. I got to shoot a little higher when I shoot that. And this was the bird shot from 20 yards with the short shell, and it's. 
just about the same size and other than being slightly to the right uh, the only difference is there's fewer holes in it and right let me see if i can figure out this one's the wad this one is the short slug so they both hit reasonably about the same again the slugs were shot at 30 yards all right so definitely the bird shot the short shells did make it feel more comfortable um, i was on the verge of selling this after my last competition with it i did it in three gun just for fun and i, I felt it for a few days afterwards i thought about selling it because i but i really wanted to like this gun so I thought I'd give it a second chance and I'd try some shorty shells. And after firing these for the first time, they are much more comfortable. I do actually really like the bird shot. The slugs, yeah, you can still feel the slugs, uh, but they are better than, than those other slugs that I was shooting. Those are actually low velocity competition slugs. They're about as easy as you can get for the full size shell. And then these ones are about a hundred feet back, slower or so. So anyway, I really like this shotgun. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm in love with this sim simplicity. I think if you were going to use this just for fun plinking, I would recommend the shorty shells. It's much more comfortable. This thing's only five and three quarter pounds. That's what makes it uh, uncomfortable to shoot. The butt pad's not too bad, but it's really the weight that works against it. So use with shorty shells. This thing's a lot of fun. Thank you for your time and have a good one.